Hi friends, this is Surabhi Veach, the Passion of Physio, and I'm going to show you how to use a massage ball to ease some pain and tension in your lower body. So let's start with the glutes. So the glutes are multiple layers of muscles, and I want you to find this tender spot right over here. So you're going to find the bones, the hard bones that are right here. That is between that your sac that's your sacroiliac joint. Your sacrum is right in the middle, above your tailbone, and then your ilium is your pelvis, pelvic bone that's right here. That joint is called sacred iliac joint. You're gonna go from that hard, firm spot where your butt dimples are, you're gonna go outside into the soft spot, into the side of your glute. That spot is a great point to access your glute medius muscle, your side booty. So you're gonna place that right there, and you're gonna lean against the wall, and you're just gonna apply firm pressure, mini, mini circles, or you can just press and hold, focus on breathe, relax, ease the tension in your glutes, and you're gonna feel yourself sinking in further into that ball as your tension eases. So give that a try and let me know how that feels. Many, many circles going up and down. That's spot number one. Another fantastic spot is actually at the front side of the hip. This muscle here is called your tensor of fascia lata. You may have heard of something called iliotibial band or IT band. This is a common area that people say are, is tight, especially in runners or people who um, cycle a lot. The issue is this band of tissue is fascia. So fascia is not something like muscle that it can actually stretch in the same way. But this muscle up top, your TFL, your tensor fascia lata, when it's too tight, it actually yanks up on this IT band, making the IT band feel tighter and adding more pressure onto the knee. So if you've got if you've got hip pain, knee pain, this is gonna feel really nice. What you're gonna do is you're gonna find your hip bone at the front. This is your anterior sacroiliac spine, um, so ASIS. And so you're gonna go from there and you're gonna find the outside of your hip. And you're gonna go right in between. And it's gonna feel a little bit tender, especially when you're leaning into the wall. So I'm gonna turn around facing the wall. And what you're gonna do is, so the pressure is here, I'm facing the wall. And I'm gonna find a bit of a tender spot and sink into that there. Now, if that doesn't feel like anything, if you're like, oh, that doesn't feel like much, you're gonna do this lying down. You're gonna get down onto the floor, you're gonna find that spot, and you're gonna kinda of lean forward so you can see where I'm placing that right there. You can also Google TFL, tensor of fascia lata as a muscle. So you can kinda of imagine where the placement is. There we go, and I found that sweet spot there where it's a good kind of sore, and I'm just resting on it. I'm supporting myself on my forearms, so it's not like my full body weight's on it. I have some support with my upper body, and I'm gonna breathe and sink into that spot there, really feeling everything opening up a little bit more. Okay, your legs shouldn't go numb or anything with that, with that technique. It's just meant to apply some pressure. You can hold that pressure for about 30 seconds to two minutes, depending on what feels good for you. So spot one was the, your butt, just in that soft spot there. Spot two is your TFL. Spot three is your foot. So you're gonna just stand. You can do the sitting as well if you're somebody who sits at a desk. And you're just gonna do a nice arch massage going into the base of your, from your, your heel all the way onto your um, toes. You're gonna go back and forth. You can even apply firm pressure right at the arch. And this is going to waken up your your feet. Our feet tend to be lazy. I, for lack of a better word, they tend to just kind of not be used in the same way because we're always putting shoes on. If you're at home most of the time, I encourage you to actually have bare feet, you know, as much as possible because our feet have receptors. Our skin has receptors all over our body. Imagine having gloves on nonstop or oven mitts on nonstop. It's gonna be really hard for our hands to feel things. Same goes for our feet. And so our feet can really feel kind of ten tender or they're holding a lot of tension. Um, and this is a great way to waken it up. I really like this before going for runs or before being active, before doing a strength workout too. This is a really nice thing to do or just to get some more blood flowing to your feet. So for anybody who has foot pain, ankle, ankle sprains, um, or if you have swelling in your feet, you, you gotta be a little bit easy with this one, but give it a try and let me know how it feels. Like this video, leave a comment, and um, tag me on Instagram if you're doing this, or send me an email at sotobe at thepassionphysio.ca to let me know how it feels. Thank you so much.